Hi, second graders. Welcome back to week two math. Um, if you watched last week the brain pop and did the easy quiz, make sure if you need a little bit of a review for what we're going to talk about today, that you go back and you rewatch the brain pop video in the slide before this. And you take the hard quiz for a little bit of a challenge to see if you did it a little differently this time. So this week we're going to continue talking about subtraction with regrouping. So what you need to do is you need to get your materials ready. So if you have a mat like this or something that you would print off that's similar, remember you don't have to actually have my exact materials. You can either print them off or if you don't have access to a printer, you are welcome to just use something around the house. I'm sure you have a little of something you can trade out. The trading out is going to make things a lot easier as we talked about last week. Also, we're gonna have our worksheets that we're gonna work on. We've got worksheet number one, and we've got worksheet oops, number two. It's gonna be both sides of these. Then we've got worksheet number three is this one, and this one. And again, do you need to write those down on the actual paper I attached? No, you don't have to, but if you wanted to, you are welcome to, so I attached the PDF to them, but I also attached a picture of it on the slide so that that way you guys could at least see what I was talking about. And you can obviously write it down a piece of paper. Feel free to send it to me. I'd be happy to check your answers too, okay guys? So let's get started. I'm gonna start on this one worksheet. But if we need, what well, we need to remember, okay. Hmm, what is regrouping again? Regrouping is whenever you don't have enough in the ones place to take it away. So for instance, this first one says 53 minus 17, 53 minus 17. I'm going to write that on my whiteboard. Fifty-three minus seventeen. Is there enough in this ones column? Is there more on top or more on bottom? Well, clearly the three you can't. If you have three fingers, you can't take seven away. You can't try it. One, two, three. I can't. I can't get to seven. That's not possible. So I have to regroup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this problem. Remember, we said five tens and three ones. Remember I have my little bag that I said that we're gonna, as your standard thing, to make it easier for you guys. So did you need to regroup? Also remember you could have your yes and no cards too. Do we need to regroup? Yes, we need to regroup. So five times three ones. One, two, three, four, five. And then I need three. So if I look at it like this, do I need to regroup? Yeah, we said we needed a group because you can't take seven away from this. So what do I need to do? I need to take one of these away, hold it in my hand right here, and I need to count out 10 from my back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, do you remember the question that we're supposed to ask ourselves? Yes, are these two things the same? If we say yes, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to say, yes, these are the same. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it and put it right up here and then I'm going to take this one that was in my hand and I'm going to put it back in my bag inside of the side. The next thing that we're going to do is we need to count up and see how many we have in the ones. So we know this is 10, 11, 12, 13. Remember we did this just exactly like this last week, okay? So on my paper, my three becomes 13. So can we, take can we take seven away from 13? Yeah, we can because we regrouped. 
So let's try it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna put them back in my bag. Now, let's count how many I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, we have six left. So, right here, here. I'm gonna put a six right there because there's six cubes left in my thing. Now, it says I have five. Oh, is that really still the five? No, look. How many do I have? One, two, three, four. Don't get fooled and not change this whenever you look at your paper, okay? That's really not five. It's really, we have four left. So now it says four minus one equals what? So now what do we have to do? We have to take away one of my tens and I'm gonna put it back in my bag. How many do I have left? One, two, three. I have three left, so I'm gonna put three right here. So my answer should be 36. So 36, it should be my answer. Now, if you look right here, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, you should have those both match, okay, if you got the answer correct. And that's the one that it said on the first. And it is done for you so you can kind of see, but I'm gonna still write it on there anyways. Let's do another one. It says, the second one says 68 minus 21. 68 minus 21. So that means I need to reset my board. All back in my ones. So I need to count out six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six tens there. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I need eight ones. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight right there. Now, looking at my paper, I'm gonna write this down on my whiteboard. Sixty-eight minus twenty-one. Okay. Now. Is there more on top? Can you take it away? Let's check it out on our fingers. We need eight fingers, okay? So, can I take one away? I can. So do I need to regroup? Show your yes or no cards. No, I don't need to regroup, right? No, I don't. So, I am just simply gonna take and do the problem, okay? So, taking one away, putting it back in the bag. And how many have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it says six minus two. So, let's take two tens away. Um, back in my bag. How many have left? One, two, three, four. The answer should be 47. See? Okay, let's move on down to, you know, we'll do all of number one, that'll be fine. And then I'll let you guys do the rest of them on the other sheet by yourself. Also remember, if you need anything and you don't understand something, please be sure to tell your teacher so they can help you out. Okay, 72 minus 38 is the next one. 72 minus 38. 
Do I need to regroup? Two, if I have two fingers, can I take eight away? Make sure you're physically showing me your fingers so that way I know that you're doing it. Two, can I take eight away? No, I can't, it's not possible. So what do we need to regroup to do? Regroup. So really, I'm gonna turn this seven into a six, and this one, we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do, so let's build it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I need two, right? I'm gonna take this one away and we're gonna say, ooh, I need a regroup. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So double check and make sure, and you ask yourself the question, are these the same? If you say yes, then you put this one back in your bag, and you put these up here, so that that way you can regroup them, okay? So let's count, 10, 11, 12. So here, what is it gonna be? So now, can we take away eight from 12? Well, yeah, we can, so let's try it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take these, I'm gonna put them back in my bag. So how many do I have left? Let's count it out. One, two, three, four. Are we done yet? No, we're not. We have to start with our, we gotta do our tenth now. So we have six minus three. So we need to take away our three tens. Ready? One, two, three. How many do I have left? Three. Again, you may say, oh, this is so easy. I got this. But I want you to try it so you can practice it enough so you know what you're doing, okay? So the answer should be 34 is what we got. Now, next. the last one on number one says 53 minus 44. Now, can you regroup that or do you need to regroup them? Let's check it out. You have three fingers. Can you take four away? No, you can't. So you need to regroup. So, yes, you need to regroup. So, let's build it. Five tens, three ones. You said, I need to regroup. So, I'm going to take one of these, put it in my hand, and I'll take one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm double checking, asking myself, are these the same? If I say yes. This in the bag and put this up here. And I'm going to say, okay, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right? So I'm going to cross off the bed. That group's three, but sorry. Um, my five turns into a four. Okay. So now can I take four away? Let's try it. One, two, three, four. Those back in the bag. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the answer should be nine. 
and then four, take away four tens is one, two, three, four. How many tens do I have left? None. So nine is the answer. Now, I want you guys to do all of these problems by yourself. Let's look quickly at these problem solving mental math ones. Because I think that one might be a little tricky if you overthink it, okay? So it says, write the number that makes sense, that makes each number sentence true. So it says 90 minus 30 equals 80 minus what? It's not asking you to add all those numbers up or subtract them all. So it's meaning. 90 minus 30 is what you do first. 90 minus 30 would be 60, right? So 60, I'm gonna write that on top of it so I can keep that in my head. 60 equals 80 minus what? So 80 minus what equals 60? Think about it, eight, eight, seven, six, oh, 20. So 90 minus 30, equals 80 minus 20. Don't let these get you fooled because they're, they're not as hard as they, they seem. So just be patient with those, okay? Okay, so pause the video and do the rest of the problems on the page before you move on to the next one so that way we know that you got it, okay? We're gonna move on to this page, which would be the start of worksheet number So, and if, and if you see it, it says you need to circle the yes or no's. So if you're just doing it on a piece of paper, make sure that you just write yes or no, because it's really important that your brain says, ooh, I know when I need to regroup or not. Because if you overthink it and you don't follow through with that thought process, your brain's gonna say, oh, I'm doing this right, and you're not. So be careful, okay? So the first one on A says 57 minus 28. So, Minus 28. So do I need to regroup? Is there more on top than there is on the bottom? If I have seven fingers, can I take eight away? I can't. So yes, I need to regroup. Okay. So I'm going to circle yes first thing. And then let's, do you want to see if you want to build it? Let's build it. Eventually you'll be able to not have to build it every single time and it will go faster. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not enough to take away, so we need to take and put one in my hand. And count out your 10 ones. Are these the same? Make sure you count it correctly. And then you're going to put this one back in your bag. And you're going to put these. Right there. So let's count up 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So on my paper, I'm going to cross off my 7 and make this into a 17. And then there's 4 tens left. So now let's try to take away 8. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'm gonna take them back in the bag. So let's count how many I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. So on your paper in the ones column, write nine. Okay, right there. And then it says we need to take away. Two, two, tens. One, two. So 
How many do I have left? Two. So we should have 29. Now, let's see if you guys can do this one, this next one. So this next one is 46 minus 23. If you look right here, 46 minus 23. If you have six fingers, can you take three away? Yes, you do. So do you need to regroup? No, you don't. So, so what is six minus three? Six, five, four, three. There's three. And four minus two is two. So the answer should be 23. So the rest of these problems are on that worksheet are just for practice and I'm gonna keep moving on just for time's sake. So I want you to make sure you're trying all of them. I gave you a lot of practice problems because the best way with subtraction for grouping is practice. So moving on to the next one, which is this one. Now this is an important concept to look at. Now, if you look really closely, you see how these problems are, they're like sideways. You don't want to do subtraction problems sideways, even though you think, oh, I can do this, I got this, I'll be fine. Don't, don't do that because you're going to accidentally mess yourself up whenever you have like regrouping or things like that. So I still want you to say, hey, do I need to regroup? Yes or no. But let's try the first one. So the first step is you always want to make sure you write it up and down. So right here, 64 minus 39. So you have four fingers. Can you take nine away? You cannot. So you're going to cross off your six and make that into a five. Now you can do this with your cubes if you want to, but I'm gonna try and show you how to do it with that. Then you're gonna turn your four into a 14. So now if we have 14 minus nine, so this is where you can touch your head. Remember that strategy I taught you guys last week. So 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. How many fingers does it take to get there? Five, right? Five. And five minus three. One, two, three. Boop. So the answer should be 25. It should look like that if you need your group. Now, Next one, it says 45 minus 16. So they wrote it up and down. So if I have five fingers, can I take six away? Oh, I can't. So I'm gonna turn my four into a three and my five into a 15 because we had to regroup it. Now, 15 minus six, let's try that same thing, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. You had to take six fingers away, right? So we stopped at 9. So 9 is the answer to 15 minus 6. Now 3 minus 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So the answer should be 29. I want you to go and I want you to do the rest of them on this page because we're already at quite a long time for this video and I don't want to have to take too much of your time. But remember, this also should be done over the course of the week and not necessarily all in one like sitting. Okay, so do all of these two problems. Now, this one looks a little tricky. Now, I'm going to explain to you. This one is going to be about trial and error. It's a little bit harder. What you got to do is you got to try and figure out, okay, if I use the numbers only once, one, two, four, and five from this box, what can I figure out? What, what's the problem I can get to make it have the greatest sum? So sum, remember, means adding. And this one says to make the greatest difference. So what is the smallest amount you can make and what's the biggest one you can make? So let me try. So you're just gonna try and figure out with only those four numbers in the problem to do it. So let's do the first one. Let's try. I'm trying to make the biggest number for number three. 
So let's see. Hmm. Let's go five and a two plus a the four and the one. So really you kind of got to, this one's going to take you a while to do. So two plus one is three, five plus four is nine. That's going to have to be this, the biggest one. But I want you to try and play with it because this one's going to be kind of, kind of tricky, okay? Okay, moving on to the next one. Now this one is meant to go with the versatiles, but we still can do the practice problem. So that's what this answer box is for. Um, and what this thing means on there is just means like when you had the versatile things, it, so just ignore that little down there. But this is an answer key box. So let's try the first one. 53 minus 18. Fifty-three minus eighteen. Okay. Now let's try this out. Now remember, you can do the head strategy if you feel confident, or still do the cubes if you don't feel like you're getting it quite yet. It's really important not to go too fast. So I have three fingers. Can I take eight away? No, I can't. So I need to regroup. So I'm gonna turn my three to a thirteen into a four because I'm regrouping. 13 minus 8. So let's try it. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. How many fingers did it take to get there? Five. Now, 4 minus 1. Well, we know that's just 3. So the answer should be 35. So you're going to look down in this box and you're going to cross off 35. Because if you look right there, you can put you go right here and you're going to cross it off. Okay? Does that make sense? So you're going to go through all these. Make sure though for 9, 10, 11, and 12 that you write them up and down. So let's do one of those. Let's do 9. So that says, what is 51? Take away 36. So I'm going to make sure I write it on the side. There's not a lot of space. So, can I take away six from one? I can't, so let's regroup. Five turns into a four, a one turns into an 11. 11 minus six is what? Let's see, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Took, five, took six fingers away. So the answer should be five. Four minus three, we know that one's just one. So the answer should be 15 for number nine. So I'm gonna find down here, I'm gonna cross off 15. So that way you guys can see that. Does that make sense? Okay, now remember you're pausing the video and completing all of the different problems. There's one last worksheet that I have that I have to put into my sleeves. Now this one is a very easy worksheet, I feel like, because it gives you a little like reference thing. So here's that little phrase that I was talking about. More on top, no need to stop. And then it says, number's the same, zero is the game. So if it's four minus four, it's zero. Or if there's more on top, do you need to stop because you can take it away? Or if there's more on the floor, meaning like the bottom number, Go next door and borrow 10 more. So that's when we're regrouping. So this is like a fun rhyme that you guys can look at. Okay. So let's do the first one. 55 minus 23. Okay. Well, is there more on top? Yeah. Five. Can you take three away? One, two, three. Nope. Yep. So you don't need to stop. So no, you don't need to group. So five minus three is two and five minus two is three so the first one should be 32 
Do the next one. 76 minus 56. Well, 6 minus 6, the number is the same. 0 is the game. So 6 minus 6 is 0. And then 7 minus 5 equals 2. So that's important to keep in mind. So go ahead and finish. I'll let you one more. So 26 minus 18. Is 6 bigger than 18? If you have six fingers, can you take away eight? No, you can't, so you need to regroup. So turn your two, so there's more on the floor, so you've got to go next door. So one, six turns into a 16. So 16 minus eight, well, we know eight plus eight is 16, so we know that the answer is eight. And then one minus one is zero, so the answer should just be eight. So I want you to try out doing all of those extra problems that we talked about. And if you need any help, you know where to find me. Use your cubes if you need to. We'll talk about some more of this um, next week. And if you want to, go ahead and watch the IXL or do IXL and do the um, watch the brain pop again if you need to. Okay. Have a great day, guys. See you next week.